Hello, ladies and gentlemen. In this session, we will learn about cognitive strategies. Cognitive strategies are mental techniques or processes used to facilitate learning, problem solving, decision making, and critical thinking. So, what are the key cognitive strategies and their uses? One, metacognition, and you can think of it as thinking about thinking. It involves being aware of one's own thought processes and regulating them accordingly. It includes planning how to approach a task, monitoring comprehension, and evaluating progress. For example, before starting a complex project, you might plan your approach, monitor your progress, and adjust your strategies if you encounter obstacles. Two, chunking. This is breaking down large pieces of information into smaller, manageable units, chunks, to enhance memory and comprehension. For example, in medical affairs, complex data can be chunked into themes or key takeaways, making it easier for stakeholders to digest and recall information. Three, visualization. This is creating mental images or diagrams to represent information making abstract concepts more concrete and easier to understand. For example, visualizing a strategy roadmap or patient journey can help us to see the bigger picture and identify gaps or opportunities. Number four, analogies and associations, which means connecting new information to existing knowledge by finding similarities or drawing comparisons. This helps make unfamiliar concepts more relatable and understandable. For example, explaining a complex scientific concept by comparing it to a simpler, well-known idea helps bridge the gap in understanding during medical training sessions. Five, elaboration, which means expanding on new information by linking it to prior knowledge, adding details, or explaining it in one's own words. For example, during medical education, elaborating on study findings by connecting them to clinical practice helps healthcare professionals grasp the practical implications. Six, rehearsal. This involves repeating information or practicing a skill multiple times to enhance retention and performance. A common example is rehearsing a presentation on new clinical data ensures that key messages are clear and confidently delivered during medical sessions. Seven, mind mapping like using diagrams to represent ideas, tasks, or concepts linked around a central theme. This strategy helps in organizing thoughts and enhancing creativity. For example, creating a mind map for a new launch strategy can help us visualize connections between educational initiatives, stakeholder engagement, and other requirements. And finally, number eight, self-questioning, which means Asking oneself questions about the material to check comprehension and deepen understanding. For example, before finalizing a medical strategy, self-questioning about potential barriers, stakeholder needs, and expected outcomes ensures a more thorough and strategic approach. And there are the eight must-learn cognitive strategies for medical affairs and specifically for medical science liaisons and other customer-facing medical teams. Why they are important? Well, they help you learn and retain information, solve problems, be creative and innovative while making better decisions. Thank you and see you soon.